we were standing in your physical shoes and we had come to this gathering and had tuned in to what's going on here we would walk away from this gathering with just a, a handful of intentions and we're standing in your physical shoes this is what they would be I accept that I'm eternal and I really like being physical right now and I love exploring this physical realm because I know how important this physical realm is to the greater scheme of things I now understand that I'm not here in physical to be tested I'm here in physical for the pleasure of helping with the expansion that things manifesting experiencing the turning from thoughts to things is the furthest most creation in all of the universe so I in my physical body am on the leading edge of this expanding universe but in order to really enjoy the leading edge of the expanding universe I've got to approach it from my non-physical point of view which is what I was doing when I made the decision to come into this physical body to begin with we would walk out of this room proclaiming maybe quietly because a lot of people aren't ready to hear it from you that I can be or do or have whatever I choose and that so can everyone else and that self-interest is a really important thing to acknowledge and that everybody's got it and that I'm interested from my perspective and I expect everybody else to be the same and I don't expect anyone to sacrifice anything for my self-interest because I don't need somebody else to sacrifice something for my self-interest because I and everyone else have a direct connection and relationship with everything wanted whatever I choose can come easily to me I don't need somebody else to get it and then give it to me I have direct access to everything and so does everyone else does that mean that I won't give somebody a hand up a leg up a help up a drag them from the ladder onto the roof up no I help in every way that I can I'm just acknowledging that nobody needs to get it from me because everybody has direct access to whatever they want I've just decided as I walk out of this door that I'm going to demonstrate how easily well-being comes to me so that maybe others that aren't quite as aware of how blessed they are can get the idea of it as they watch me and if someone should be bold enough to ask me hey what are you doing what are you doing how come you're always the lucky one how come things are always turning out so well for you we would if we were standing in your physical shoes just say because I figured it out that that's how it's supposed to be for all of us and I figured just because most people weren't doing it didn't mean I should deprive myself of it anymore I decided that since it's there for all of us just like love is there if we want it and clarity is there if we want it and fun is there if we want it appreciation is there if we want it then money must be if there if we want it and health must be there if we want it and good food must be there if we want it this is an abundant universe and getting more abundant all the time we practice expanded consciousness not shortage consciousness and we demonstrate it for others to see Jerry said I just want to show them what their options are I don't intend to create the reality of children or grandchildren I just want to show them what the options are and so that's what we would do if we were standing in your physical shoes we'd demonstrate options of prosperity and of fun and of love and of humor and of kindness and of expansiveness we would demonstrate playfulness eagerness hopefulness we would demonstrate not tolerance as such but it's sort of like it we would demonstrate what your inner beings demonstrate to you all the time we would demonstrate compassion because what compassion is is looking at the physical world through the eyes of source and understanding that what is is just right because it's on its way to what is wanted when you stood before 
Jesus or of those like Jesus. There are so many humans that tapped into source and flowed it. And you were dripping your illness. He didn't see your illness. He practiced a bag of marbles where he saw your wellness. So he didn't know your illness. It wasn't in his vibration. And so when you were with him and he was with you, your illness was not encouraged in that atmosphere. In fact, not only was it not encouraged, it couldn't even abide in that vibration because his knowledge of your well being was so significant that there was not room for the other while you were in that space. And so illness couldn't be because wellness is what bead, because this is the now reality and that's old news. This is the now reality and that's old news. And then he said, he wasn't the only one, but he's the one most quoted for it. Go forth and tell no one. Because he knew if you went home and told this crazy story of how you went in and you were sick and then you saw somebody and they looked at you and then you were well, they'd talk you right back into illness. <laughs> when we say to you that we have enjoyed this interaction more than any that has been before, we say this to you because we are truly on the leading edge of thought and nothing else will do for us or for you. There is great love here for you. And for now, we are here. I love you guys. This is so good. So good. If you like this video, don't forget.